the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. I very soon will be going back to CGC in the name of Jesus. It's bigger, it's better, there's a lot more space for more people to come in. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you allow the Holy Spirit to influence your life, please listen. He will make you a sign and a wonder. Never forget this. The meeting has begun. If you can allow the Spirit of God to take over your life, listen, the Holy Spirit does not want a part of your life. The Holy Spirit does not just want your heart. Hallelujah. I did an illustration in just, and, and I'm going to do it again. Keep playing, please don't stop. Let me have four people, just four gentlemen. And let me show you how our relationship with the Spirit is. Many of us, come on now, any four people. Just stand, just stand this way. I want to show you tonight the secret of experiencing the presence of God and true spiritual power. I don't plan to teach for long and then we'll minister so that we can end very fast. If I have to teach tonight, we'll take the whole night. Watch this. Listen. When God created man, right? God created man such that, please never forget this illustration. If you are interested in walking in the spirit and walking in true power, ever increasing dimensions of God's power, you must understand what I'm sharing with you tonight. Hallelujah. This is the image of God. This, this is a representation of priority towards the things of God. Hold it, sir. Just hold it this way. Now listen. This is man. And all the things that look like priorities to him. Are you getting my point? Every time you stand before principalities and powers. And you say in the name of Jesus I rebuke you. They will first check if they see that there is this priority and this passion. Hallelujah. Because it so happens that the, your hunger for God. And your desire, your priority for him. Are you getting my point now? It's proportional to the dimension of his presence that you will see in your life. There are lots of people that can dress well. Just like some of you are sitting looking wonderful. And then you turn and tell demons, the Lord rebuke you. Go away, I cast that spirit. Or be healed. And these spirits look and they cannot see the priority of God in you. They see all kinds of, I'm sorry, all kinds of pretense. God is somewhere down the line among your activities. Are you getting my point? Maybe this one is your desire to be successful. Maybe this one is your desire to make money. This one is your desire to get married. And then God is somewhere down the line. Yet, you want to experience his power and his glory let me tell you, you can sing and say everything you want to say. Lord, you mean the world, you mean this and that. But until God becomes a priority, the moment God keeps stepping up, I tell you, you will become a dangerous wonder because his presence will not only mantle you, something will begin to happen to you that will rattle the gates of hell everywhere you go. The problem is, Many people love God, but they are not passionate about God.
are born again, but God is not a priority. Are you getting my point now? How many of you know that I can love this lady, right? But she's not my wife. Is that true? So I love her, but that passion enough to say I want to spend my life with you. That's how many people are. So they say, Lord, I love you. But when you stand side by side with other things, I am not sure those, those things can go for you. And God says, yet you want my glory. Yet you want to see my manifest presence. There are many of us, it's money. Money is your first priority. Others, is your quest for success. Other people, is whatever kind of issue. Listen, when you come to a powerful meeting like this, the primary assignment of the Holy Spirit is not just to heal you. Are you getting me? As you begin to worship God, something happens in your spirit. Have you heard that song? Be magnified, oh Lord. This is what happens. So, in the heat of that worship, as your outer man is dying, there is a shifting in the spirit. Are you seeing that? God becomes a greater priority to you. So suddenly you leave that meeting with a greater passion. But as great as that passion is, it's still not enough. You begin to have encounters, dreams, visions. You begin to see the workings of the spirit in your life. But God looks and says, I'm still not seeing myself. Are you getting my point now? So every time Satan comes, this is what Jesus meant by Satan comes to me and did not find anything. That means before Satan attacks, he will check what in you belongs to me. That becomes his point of attachment to your life. Are you getting my point now? Then you come for another powerful meeting. And while you're singing and hearing the word and worshiping, you come to a point where you say, Kai, this is my hunger for marriage. Although it's an important thing, but you have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. So you see that there is a transition. Hallelujah. At this point, you begin to see little signs and wonders here and there. God begins to trust you with certain levels of grace. But God still checks and says, I want to do more with you. You may even be ministry at this level. You may be healing the sick at this level. They may be calling you MOG, apostle, prophet, pastor. You may be building churches and cathedrals. But God will say, if you know what I could do with you. If you know what I could do with you. You have 1,000, 5,000 members. If you know what I could do, I can give you an international anointing that can rattle territories. What is this one thing that you are keeping from me? What an and you say, Lord, bless me. God says, I don't have a problem blessing you. Can I trust you? You say, yes. God says, where is the proof of the trust? I'm still not seeing myself in your life. And the more you climb, the harder it gets. Because the things that are closer to your heart are the idols. And then finally, after seasons of dealings with the Spirit... I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Lord, I will bow. Lord, I will bow to you to no other God but you. I will worship you, nothing hands at me, but you, Lord. Listen, when you get to this point, you will see dimensions of grace that will scare you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is what it means, seek first his kingdom. Every time God sees you, he knows that you want to be rich. 
He knows that you want to finish your education. He knows that you want to get married. But you have said, Lord, as great as these things are, I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of my. And you say, Lord, compared to marriage or compared to your presence, let money go. Compared to your presence, let marriage go. Compared to everything, at that point, he has become king of kings. And Lord of Lords hallelujah and that is the realm where before you call he will answer God will trust you with levels of wealth that you never dreamt imaginable God will trust you with dimensions of anointing and power and grace and men will say from whence come at this what we have never seen it in this fashion But there are many of us, we want God to be somewhere in our lives. Please take seriously what I'm sharing tonight. You can go back there, sir. Many of us, God is number 70 something, not even number four. 70 something. There are so many things. Bless my mother. Bless my father. Heal me from the cancer. Do everything. Are they wrong? No. But every time God looks at you, he wants to see the priority. Hallelujah. Listen. There are many ministries. I was sharing with someone yesterday. And the person looked at me. And I said, today, there will be so many people coming from everywhere. Trusting and expecting that God is going to bless them. Hallelujah. The person saw how that people were ringing my phones, doing a lot of things. I was praying. I was spending time in God's presence. And I looked, I said, listen, there is a reason. And I learned that from God's servant, Johnson Suleiman. Hallelujah. I've shared the story with you people. When you get distracted, are you getting my point? And get carried away by ministry and all of these things, the protocol people standing well, the great man of God, Joshua Selman, coming to do his things. Those things are deceitful. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They are deceitful. That's why some people will never enter certain levels of grace. Enjoy the honor, but never let it get inside you. Create a space that nothing can take. Belongs to God. God knows that I love him with all my heart. Let ministry go. Let anointing go. Let grace to heal the sick go. It's not my ministry, it's God's ministry. If I die today, you will cry for one week and say, what happened? After that, that's the end of it. The journey continues. When you recognize this, something will happen to you. You will no longer be carried away. Even the anointing, listen, the anointing of the Holy Ghost in your life can become an idol. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The anointing has a compelling effect. When you are healing the sick, casting devils out and doing all of the great things, it's easy to forget that you are under authority and there is one greater than you. There are people tonight, you are not sick, but what you need is fresh fire because you started well. Please don't stop playing. You started well. But as you were going and God trusted you with little levels of grace and anointing, you didn't even know when you left God and started doing ministry. Tonight, you need restoration as a matter of urgency. Some of us, God trusted us with influence. God trusted us with power. Have you heard people tell you, I remember those days. You can't walk to me sick and go back. No. What has happened? Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need 
your discipline i'm crying out light the fire again don't let my love grow cold i'm crying out light the fire again i need your discipline i'm crying out light the fire again there are some of us here not only is god not a priority he's not even in the equation of our life you have never considered it a factor how are you getting my point now many people run to god like an emergency unit in the hospital Oh God, the harbor list has failed. Since you are the only one left, you better do something. And you harass every man of God around you as if you paid him to make sure you get healed. But when we get blessed, we run away. Listen, I'm saying this again and again. It's not a difficult thing for God to invade our lives. But the question is, can God trust you? Lord, I want spiritual power. Fine. It's available. Can God trust you? Lord, I want prosperity. I want to be a millionaire. Fine. Can God trust you? Lord, I want to get married. Can God trust you? You're not even disciplined as you are. You can't see any lady and go and sit down quietly. You can't see any guy and sit down quietly. Lord, I want marriage. What kind of kids do you want to raise? And God says, it's not a big deal. Can I trust you? Lord, I want a great ministry. Someone was sending me a, a, a text message. And he said, great man of God of our time. Exclamation mark. Then he said a number of other nice things. And at the end of it, you know, he said, oh, this and that and that. And I looked, I said, ah, yeah said, I wish to be like you. And I sent him a text. I said, all things are available in the spirit. Can God trust you? This is the question God is asking some of us tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is it really hard for God to heal you? Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking you tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. What God is saying. You must get to a point where you love me beyond anointing. Listen, I ring this every time. This is the law of exchange. I taught us two weeks ago. You don't get nothing for nothing. That junk does not exist in the kingdom. There is always something. Your heart, your life. Hallelujah. Because there are so many of us, when we see the wonderful things that God is doing in this ministry, and we honor God, you cannot imagine how deeply grateful I am. Let me tell you something. As a leader, I account for only very little of the success of this ministry. Very little. I'm not embarrassed by it. There is one mightier than I am. He's the real owner. What you see happening is just stewardship. It will never confuse me. We never confuse roles with God. I have never tried to take his role. The cross is too heavy to kill me. I know when to stand and allow him do the things that he will. Tonight, God wants your heart. Everybody say, God wants my heart. Yes. God wants your heart. Brothers and sisters, 
It is not a difficult thing for God to change your story. Read the Bible and see how God changed people's situation overnight. There are many of us, it was when you got into trouble that you left God. So wrong. That's when you should hold on to him like the woman with the issue of blood. If your challenges make you run away from God, who will you run to? The devil. Hallelujah. It's not enough to watch miracles. There will be miracles everywhere. There will be miracles here tonight. There will be miracles everywhere. Right. Nobody is doubting that. I told you God said there will be mighty visitations. There will be impartations. And all kinds of visitations. But the trouble is, will you just leave this place happy and excited? Wow, it was great. Did you see the sick person? Did you see the deliverances? Did you see the breakthroughs and the word of knowledge and the manifestation of the gift of the spirit? Did you hear the worship team? Did you see the organization? If that is all you live here with tonight, you have cheated yourself. Because there are many of us who are spectators. We are enjoying the euphoria of organization. But tonight you must lose sight of these things. And say, Lord, I have come for business. If you do not change me, I will not be changed. If you do not heal me, I will not be healed. But Lord, take my heart. That's my message. I've been ringing this for years. The Lord told me something years ago. He said, son, if you can let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in our lives. Let this be a true confession. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Especially for those of us who are in ministry. There's all kinds of frustration in ministry. Because many people want power. They want increase. I told you the best way to be in ministry is to get out of ministry. And focus on his presence. That is when you make the loudest noise and the loudest impact. Koinonia will keep rising from glory to glory for as long as our focus is not on the great things. Don't get me wrong. We take time to celebrate what God is doing. We appreciate the wisdom and the excellence. We appreciate the presence and the leadership of the spirit. But let me tell you above and beyond this. Our hearts. We are dead men. I can tell you this. We have given him everything. If God says this is the last miracle service. This is the last koinonia service. There is nothing left. No more koinonia. I will announce it to you as I've had it. I will join you crying. You will join me crying. We will hold ourselves and walk out of this place. And I will go back and say thank you Jesus. What do I do next? Do you love God that much? Can you lay down in quote. The walls that you have spent years building. At the request of God. Can you lay it down? You spent years going to school. At the end of it, God said, just keep it. And we'll take another turn. He said, God, no way. You don't cheat me like that. I'm a smart Nigerian. There's a way I can walk. We can patch it up. Hallelujah. There are many of you, you have, you have refused to get married. Because God has told you, that married man you are doing part-time relationship with, break up completely so that God will give you a full-time husband. You are saying, oh Lord, who is going to take care of my needs? You are born again. But he's not a priority in your life. And then you sleep in the night and all kinds of demonic things come. And you cry in the name of Jesus. And the demons even help you to shout. He said, let me help you say it louder. And you are like, Jesus Christ, what is going on? The name of Jesus is only powerful. When it is in the lips of those who are lovers of God indeed. Hallelujah. 
koinonia, listen to me. It is never my ambition. Please, I want you to hear this. It is never my ambition to remain, in quote, a superstar man of God who always comes to sit down. Here comes Joshua Selman, protocol leading him. And I come and I sit down. Wonderful. And the worship team sings. I told you, we, we taught on the ecclesia last week. And I told you that the purpose of the church is to be trained and released to enforce the kingdom. If all we are doing is becoming great men of God and you are not rising, then we are failures, even if the world is clapping for us. The goal is that the least person among us will become as great as David. There is space for everybody in the world. Even if all of us become men of God, there are enough sinners to occupy everybody. There are enough sick people to occupy everybody. But the problem is, will God have your heart? Sister, if you can give God your heart, there is nothing he cannot make out of your life. Yes, you graduated with a third class. You know, humanly speaking, that in Nigeria, that third class may not give you a job. You go for an interview, you are embarrassed. You don't even want to show your, your result. Because you see rows of first class students. Genuine first class students. And you are wondering. And Lord, the Lord is saying, can you give it to me? Give me that certificate and see what I will make out of your life. Lord, help me trust you. Help me trust you. What makes us believe that you, you, you are destroyed when you come to God? There is an ugly theology flying around the church. That theology that God makes failures out of people who love him. I tell you it's not true. The temporary moment of suffering and constraints may be there. Romans chapter 8 verse 18 says, I reckon that the sufferings, there will be constraints. It's not going to be a landslide movement. But if you can wait, you will rise like the eagle and you will astonish men. Lord, we want to see your power and your glory in our lives. And so we seek you. If God does not give you a job, no man can give you. No herbalist can give you. No Godfather can give you. If God does not preserve your life, even if Boko Haram does not bomb you, have you not heard of people who sat down quietly in their house and a truck came and carried everybody? If the Lord has not been our help, now may Israel say, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about I lay me down and I slept I waked for the Lord sustains me but thou O Lord art a shield for me my glory you lift my head, but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Tonight, God is calling on us. Everybody, listen to me, inside and outside. Would you make God a priority? Win the war in your heart this night and let God become your priority. What is it that has taken his place? I know you are sick in your body, but tonight there are women here, there are mothers, there are people here. Fathers, you saw the glory of God in the days of your youth. But the pain of Nigeria has drifted a lot of people away from God. For me to leave God is death. He has become my obsession. 
has nothing to do with ministry. You love God. But if that guy should stand side by side with God, you will choose him. Hallelujah. I want you to see the power of God. We are going to soon stand up and we'll have a few minutes of prayer and worship. And we'll just let God, I tell you, there will be a mighty visitation in this place tonight. The Lord told me this, there will be a mighty visitation. Hallelujah. But the Lord is calling you. He's calling you deeper. 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 He's calling you deeper. 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 Calling you deeper, 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 deeper. Hallelujah. Where is God? MOG, where is God in your ministry? Somewhere behind. While ministry programs and conferences and conventions have taken his place. Businessman and woman, where is God in the equation of your life? Prospective husband and wife, where is God in the equation of your life? Students, where did you keep God? This is Chem 3 1 something, sociology something something. This and that, and Jesus Christ is somewhere roaming around. Needed like a herbalist when the going is tough, and then you return him back tonight. May an addiction for the things of God come upon your life. Please listen to me. This is the realm that when you walk in, no power in existence can prevail over you. Challenges are okay, defeat is unusual for a Christian. Hallelujah. Many of us have come here tonight because you are hungry. Some of us have come because we are at the end of our road. Someone just invited you and said you have tried everywhere. You've gone to Zaria City. You've done everything. Why don't you just come to God? And you dragged yourself here and said, well, Lord, let's see what happens. I tell you, you are in for a shock tonight. God will beat you above and beyond your expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless you guys. Rise up on your feet, everybody. We are going to pray. Just two prayer points. And then we'll worship. Lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Take everything, oh God. Come on, pray now, everybody. Take everything. Take everything. My life belongs to you. Take the talent, oh God. Take the talent. Take the gift. Take everything. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, in any way, in any way, I have allowed other things to take your place in my life. Tonight I repent. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. Pray from the depths of your heart. Many of us have never given our hearts to the Lord. You've gone to church. You have a Christian name. But you've never given your heart to the Lord. It's not enough to see power. It's not enough to see miracles. Hallelujah. I'm going to make a very serious altar call right now. 
I don't want you to sit down thinking about it because I know there are people. There are people here tonight, inside and outside. Probably you followed someone and you came. Probably you are struggling with a sickness or a terminal disease. The doctor has given you the letter and said you have a few months to live. It all starts with Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. There are two sets of people I'm going to call. And they will all come at once. Those who have never made a decision. Don't deceive yourself tonight. I don't care whether you are a pastor, whether you are a pope. You've never given your heart to Jesus. To say, Lord, I, I surrender my life truly. And then there's the second category. Those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of lying to myself. I know that this thing I'm doing is not Christianity. I need a fresh start. People have told me it's all right. I want to make my way right. Yes, you have come out once. You even prayed for. You even fell down under the anointing. But you are saying, Lord, I'm rededicating my life tonight. Those two categories of people, as I, as I count one to ten, I like you to run like you are running away from fire right now, inside and outside. One, two, run like you are running for escape. Run like like there is fire burning, and it's a matter of urgency. Forget about your friends. Forget about who is looking at you or who is not looking at you. This is the key to a glorious destiny. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have done. I don't care who is castigating you. Jesus is ready. To give you a new beginning tonight. Everything I give to you, withholding nothing. Don't sit back there when the Holy Ghost is asking you to come out. God is still telling me that He's talking to people, God is still speaking to people. Many people inside, many people outside. Forget about your friend. This is a destiny decision. I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything. Those of you in front here, begin to open up your heart to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Cry out your heart. Say, Lord, enough is enough. Withholding nothing. Come on, sing it one more time. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Will you give your heart away? That's what God is asking you to. Those of you in front. Will you give your life away? So he can use you. Will you give your life away? Will you give your life away? So he can use me. Lord, I give myself away. Pray. Don't let your tears stop you. You may cry, but pray. So he. One more time, everyone. I give myself away.
I see some of you crying. I see some of you under heavy demonic oppressions. But let me tell you, this is the best decision you have made tonight. It's never too late to start. I don't care what you have done. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to know, those of you here, it is never too late with the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He won the victory. He gave you the victory on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. There are many things happening in your life. And the solution is not to go and try to solve it some other way. You must make up your mind and say from today. Hallelujah. You must be determined from your heart. That's how it starts. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come and worship with me. Hallelujah. You've won it all for me. For me, just that part one more time. Hallelujah! 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 You have won the victory. your hands those of you in front I'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem we are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now never forget this day for as long as you live some of you are rededicating your lives some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time I don't care what category Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I surrender my life to you. I repent of my old ways. I accept the free gift of eternal life. I receive it in my spirit. And I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Satan, stay away from my life. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Savior. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Lord. Father, preserve these ones in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let this not be an emotional decision. Let it be a sincere decision from the depths of your heart. And I break the power of sin over your life. The weight that doth easily beset you, I crush it right now in the name of Jesus. I release you the righteousness of God is at work in your life. And for those of you who have come sick, I'd like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute, you will come back. We're about to start the healing session right now. So please, just walk this way. Follow the ushers. They'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service. Celebrate them, everybody. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Young and old alike. Lift your hands, everybody, and say, visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Pray in one minute, everyone. Lift your hands and say, Lord, the time has come. 
I'm tired of this sickness. The time has come. I need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life. Please pray. Pray and say, Lord, visit me. Visit me. Please, ushers, be fast with them. Be fast with them so that they can return back. Everyone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just begin to pray in one minute. Hallelujah. 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 There is nothing we can do without you. Jesus, reveal yourself in a mighty way. Let the sick be healed, O oh God. So many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles breakthroughs, marriages, jobs, healings and deliverances. And Lord, we thank you for that which you will be doing. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sorry about the congestion um, protocol and ushers. Please walk together to make everything fast. Hallelujah. Before we start the healing session, I just want to do something very quickly. It's Mike's birthday. Come here, Mike. Hallelujah. I told him I was going to give him a surprise. Hallelujah. Celebrate him. A lovely music director. Hallelujah. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life. You will do mighty things. Because of you, the worship team will step into a greater dimension. Hallelujah. I hear in my spirit greatness, greatness, greatness. The Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you. The Lord is determined to do it. Bless his hands, O oh God. May this be so in his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Visit us, O God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my God, help me. Just play the keyboard for me and then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's work together now. Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place hallelujah 
not deliverance, impartation, God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people. It's going to be a wildfire of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Strings, please. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth, I see the Lord. I see. He's the lamb upon the throne. Lamb upon the throne. Who reigns forever? Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen, listen please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing, are in this place. This is a very, very prophetic moment. Now the Lord is going to be moving from inside and outside. And he's going to be separating certain people. This is not deliverance, although that can happen. This is a heavy impartation. The weight of God is about to mantle people in very strong ways. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, all those who belong to this category, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. My God. Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the Spirit. One, two, three. Shekete, rekete teketa, no comprende skete, lekete rebos. Outside, bring them out, bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Retekete. Separate them, O oh God. Separate them, O oh God. Outside, the power of God is falling now. Outside, is hitting men right now. Like a tornado. Outside, outside. There are angels outside. The power of God is falling like a wildfire. A separation, a separation. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a separation, a wild fire. Let it engulf them, oh God. Let it burn. Let the call from the throne. Let the call from the throne. Let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow. At the back, the overflow at the back outside the overflow at the back outside the fire of god is falling the overflow at the back outside the fire of god is falling There's an army rising up 
There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Yeah. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. There's an army rising up, come on. There's an army rising up. Yeah. To break every chain. 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 your hands. God is not done yet. I told you there will be a visitation. Listen, at the count of three, many people will enter visionary experiences right now. Vision, vision. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Vision, vision. Take it. Take it. Vision. I open up prophetic realms. Take it. Take it. Visions, visions, visions. Hey, 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 hey. Step into realms of visions, prophecy, visions, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions. Visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. Take it. In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row now, now. This row. Take it. 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 Take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata. Rakata bande brende keta. Sopro te pente ke. Rekete skete. Rekete. 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 Rekete te te. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. They will break every chain, break every chain, they will break every chain. There is a road that the power of God is moving outside. There is a road outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now 
under the power of God and it will follow to that road. Open the floodgates of heaven, O God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete kete teta. Repete kete tete ba. Som prete kete la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Someone, Sarah, Sarah, just leave them. Don't worry. Don't don't scatter what God is. Doing. Hallelujah. God is bringing deliverance to your family. Hold my hands. It ends now. Now, now, now. Be delivered. I cast that devil. Has that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to cause spirits that are responsible for marital delay. Every spirit wife, every spirit husband, many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you. Some of you are already out. You came out for impartation. Lift your hands. At the count of three, the fire of the spirit will be separating men. Every devil causing delay in marriage. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Lord, as they shout Jesus, I expose every devil and it leaves them forever. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Now I call spirits. I call spirits. Marital delay. I call spirits. Every marital delay. I cause you. I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars. I challenge thrones. I challenge spells. We break every chain. We break every chain. We break every chain. We break every chain. Break every chain. Break 
capice Let her go now Go Let her go now Go Be free Lay your hands on your stomach God is setting you free The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. It's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 come. Please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, is that, lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Let her go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? I've been at times like this. She does like this. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out, out, kate paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out, out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you. Every altar speaking against everyone tonight. It will catch fire this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Leave her. Stand up. Stand up and follow me. Stand up by yourself and follow me. Stand up. Come, follow me. Stand up. Walk. Shake it. Come. Come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the 
the chase. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. At, look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. say Jesus. Jesus say I am fine she literally ate her mouth and injured it like that look at you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. Say, I'm fine. I'm fine. It never returns to you again. <laughs> Stretch your hands and say, it's over. <laughs> this deliverance is over. <laughs> if there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family. When they get to a point, something hits them down. And that's the end of it. No matter what happens. This is what the Lord is showing me. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands. Because this is, I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King, let this thing end right now. Because this thing is not just with you alone. It's with your family members. My God, let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? He's a lecturer. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him. And we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah the family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now
be delivered now. I'm not speaking. Out! Now! I hear the chains falling. Two of you come. Are you related? Come, come, come. Two of you. Yes. What's your relationship? Eh? Is your boss? You are learning to sew in his place. Don't laugh. I don't mean love relationship. I mean, what's your relationship? Huh? Because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. Our uh, ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very, please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. It's true. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Something's moving, something's changing. Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. Over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase, mighty increase coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. 
I release her and her family out out that cause of hardship out the Lord is bringing increase for your father I'm seeing traditional things these are herbal things I'm seeing in a shrine the Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family Lord confirm your word I've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of Jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby hold my hands I take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus this garment of shame go be set free be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Eunice 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 Lord is ministering to me a lady called Eunice who is that please if it's your name or someone related we have to save time Eunice Gabriel 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 I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? It's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. Work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. 
women out of his life every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing I cause you be free my God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus name why are you here? why are they here? what is eh? all of you are Eunice is she married? is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy. It's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you. Nobody cares. Nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in a way. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. Hmm? But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. Lord is not even talking about you. He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them. It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring out. Lord, let it be over now. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her. At the same time. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. It's the same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. outside. I command. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried. The blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. 
Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar, the children that have been buried, I command the earth, share in the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now. Now. I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent. Every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the spirit. For the spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. I hear you. will hear testimonies. They will carry the dead bodies of men. Those who are found, they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go. I command the vengeance of God. Let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine. Let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah you have won the victory. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah. Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come on, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. The moment I pray for you, the power of God is already healing people right now. Check yourself. The moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you, maybe not everybody, just run out and come and stand here. There will be an explosion of miracles. You must celebrate what God is doing. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established? Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, and when the evening was come, they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. We don't fake it in this place. A miracle is about to happen. As I begin to command, please check yourself. 
start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of jesus the son of the living god and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and lord i pray right now as i begin to declare i want you to shout a loud amen miracles are already happening in the name of jesus blind eyes be open now blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now god is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's ulcer being healed god is healing ulcer ulcer you will feel fire burning on your chest ulcer is being healed right now i give you the praise i give you the praise i give you the praise lump in the breast lump in the breast the right breast lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now i cost that spirit i cost that spirit by the prophetic word this lady is going to start coughing things out she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Migraine headache. Every kind of migraine. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of jesus There are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach i cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil i don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year You've only seen your period twice in the name of the lord jesus i restore order to your body now i restore order the power of god is moving to this effect i restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed i give you the praise lord a tooth ache tooth problem serious tooth problem the lord is healing it right now right now 
right now right now lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now i really want to conserve time i'm just thinking since pastor jakes is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do i need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because i know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of god please come out and line up thank you jesus worship is falling down healing rain is falling down i'm not afraid i'm not afraid Brought, who brought our daddy he came on his own he came on his own what's wrong sir difficult in walking, difficult in walking. your leg what happened sir I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me. I can't quit. your leg is weak I'm going to pray for you daddy and Jesus will heal you right now hold my hand sir don't worry just sit down Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand, I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 Just turn. Turn. By yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving a miracle. In the name of Jesus, are you seeing the power of God now? only as God healed you daddy God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten everything the Pama worm has eaten because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October they would have buried you first week of October this is what the Lord is showing me but in the name that is above all names four years, four years now for four years this has been the devil had wanted to destroy you i'm saying first week of october they would have buried you but in the name that is above all names the bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the lord 
but the earth has he given so all oh earth i forbid you from taking this man's body in the name of jesus he will live long he will live strong and for every one of you praying for him may your family members live long in the name of the lord jesus daddy we are going to walk one more time look at look at he's so excited to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil come and walk again daddy walk hallelujah hallelujah please take him to his seat the lord perfects him in the name of jesus worship him help us let's save him You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. set the whole family free Kai this is witchcraft acute witchcraft you know you need a miracle right huh you came here trusting God huh what did the doctors tell you wait now I need to pray for you huh the leg issue is a simple issue if I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. 
Ah, cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Ah, huh? it's okay. Don't cry, please, please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief, oh, please, madam, listen. The, I told you it's death. Where's Where is your husband? Husband is dead. Husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family, huh? They want your son where's your son my senior brother wait who is paralyzed completely if there is a god in heaven hear me if there is god in this place tonight your deliverance comes you have won the victory hallelujah you have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody. If there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now, together with the leg issue. Your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. Your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Hallelujah. look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand I'm seeing a coffin in the spirit. They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Father, change this girl's story i bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of jesus christ out now out now out now in the name of jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death I command your exodus now in the name of Jesus. Let's save time. Thank you, Jesus. Free. She's in the hospital. Set her free. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus be free every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus do you have your prayer request please start submitting it or shall start getting a prayer request prayer requests are very important they are not a formality if you've not written it now is the time send a text to your loved one and say send it fast there is a God that answers prayers thank you Jesus be healed now Savior, he can move a mountain my God is mighty to say yes he is mighty to say be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10 just 1 to 10 if you are more than 10 keep them 1 to 10 please bring them out 1 to 10 mothers if you are tired give somebody to hold the child and come with it please just hurry up let's save time while we collect it please 
if you are not interested you can sit back please bring all the children we must lay hands ah that's a baby teach me how to hold though before i strangle the neck of this baby <laughs> come and hold the mic for me let me do serious business here Baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody, stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb God is breaking barrenness the same God that brought this baby the Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord my God, I pray, I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray. Hallelujah. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level, and you just come and march out here. Please. We, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do we are acting based on instruction make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord praise God all of you stretch your hands it's amazing let me challenge men I don't see any father standing here and I if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men, every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Lady, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please. Let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus, everything that makes your brain dull, we command that you are not dull. In the name of Jesus Christ, Bring her, please. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Setete pakata la ba 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 ba. Ratete brende kepele kotosh. Baby, grow in the fear of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, if you know honestly, please don't play games with God here. You know that you are trusting God to settle down maritally in this 2014. Come out and stand here. Please, we are not playing games. I am very, very serious about it. God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle. You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming. We break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him. But the relationship is hereby declared non and void. You must choose to walk in holiness and integrity. Hallelujah. There are people standing here that there are powers and thrones. Please lift your hands. And horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage. You are a very pretty lady. But nobody can look at you. The moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hard-working and disciplined person but the moment any lady comes to you today she says she's she's serious after one week there are some of you people come and they die some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away but in the name that is above all names listen this is an apostolic ministry we are not ashamed the bible says i am not ashamed of the gospel every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom we will preach it and we will set people free lift your hands you will be very surprised i said it at the beginning of the year that god told me there will be surprise marriages even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my bible says male and female he created them what and what did he say female and female? Did he say male and male? That means, ladies, there is a male counterpart for you. You believe that? I'm going to pray for the man, not a man. Are you getting me? Not one man meandering around and you say, let me manage, time is going. No. You can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave. You cannot manage marriage. Lift your hands. Let's first destroy these altars of Baal. See that, Ababa. Get ready. Because the power of God is about to shake.
shatter spells into pieces father everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two three right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he is walking in this earth right now just like boaz located ruth i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now hallelujah lord god almighty you know that song holy holy lord, lord god almighty there's only one word to There's only one word to describe And only one word comes to When you truly stand before His presence Only one word to this cry mm -hmm. holy that's the word holy lord lord god almighty holy Holy Lord. Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little story about my life. I have been very, very concerned about the way people are being built in the body of Christ. And every time I say this, people misinterpret it for pride or arrogance but the way God trained me is not the way 
many people have been trained in the body of Christ and I know that something is wrong hallelujah there is a lot of jumping of processes in the progressions of the spirit there is a lot of seeming principles of shortcuts to access authentic power and the presence of God to an extent that there are many people who claim that they are having spiritual encounters but there's nothing about their life so many people lie to us that they see angels and there is nothing there is no reaction in their lives many people tell us they see beings in the spirit let me tell you something if you see anything that is outside this realm something must happen to you hallelujah i want to share with you something very powerful i want to share with you how i began my journey in the spirit and how the holy ghost led me and you will see the reason why many people may never find god in terms of encounter there are many preachers lying to people many preachers deceiving people just because of they are not fake they are just not telling the truth hallelujah it doesn't take an encounter to speak english utterance is not the same as oratory you can get oratory by good education you know what utterance is utterance is the bridge between your encounter and the people you want to communicate it to the encounter is so deep you do not have the frame the framework of the lingua franca to help them see the other side of what you are saying and so paul prayed and said I've, I've, there is something in my spirit but how to make you see it pray for me that god will grant me an ability that is not human an ability to make you enter my experience as i speak to you this is what is called utterance there is a lot of powerlessness in the body of christ and now i know i'm not old enough and experienced enough to challenge many things yet let me tell you something i do not boast of knowing all the principles of church growth principles of prosperity principles of increase principles of training and mentorship and building people but there is one thing i know I know the protocol of an encounter this one a man did not teach me Paul said I know a man 14 years ago in Arabia whether he was in the body or in the spirit I do not know but he said that he saw things that were not permitted for men to utter there were things that John saw and he said seal this don't bring this the people do not have the capacity to take this depth of encounter seal it it's for an appointed time there is a lot a lot of theory and and these theories are not wrong but let me tell you when a man meets god when you hear him there is an anointing that brings you into his experience hallelujah that's what happened prophet samuel was a man who had encountered god saul came into that atmosphere when he entered an anointing compelled him into the prophetic all of a sudden he began to prophesy accurately the bible says he prophesied naked from morning till night and men looked and said it's saul or oh, it wasn't because saul was anointed there was an atmosphere that pulled him into that experience the presence of this man called Samuel. Hallelujah. One time they came to capture the armies. I mean they came to capture the prophet of God. Elijah. And when they came the Philistines I believe. They, 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 they gathered around. And he prayed. And the servant was perplexed. Because see he was sitting in another realm. His confidence was not of this realm. And the servant was shaky and he said oh lord would you not bring this man into my experience let him see what gives me this audacity let him see what informs my confidence all of a sudden his eyes were open and he saw that them were greater than what they are see you will never understand a man's passion 
until you know what drives him until you see what he has seen until you hear what he has heard and the bible says moses was at the back side tending his father in law's sheep and he saw a bush the bible didn't say many people saw only one man moses and when he went there he had an encounter hallelujah there are so many people looking for power and and that's not wrong there are so many people looking for power they want the power to heal the sick they want the power to do this and that and that because according to their church growth seminar they were told that if you have power and you have results men will come to your church or to your assembly whatever it is let me tell you the truth I'm about to correct some things and set a right very very wrong when I began my pursuit for God listen to me I had no ambition to be a preacher whatsoever hallelujah if anybody would have told me that today I'll be standing taking the message of the kingdom I would never believe it hallelujah there are people already who sit down is part of their ambition they think it's a profession they are so desperate to start ministry they are so desperate to gather members they've not done anything they have the name of the ministry already they have the name of where the church will be i'm not saying what god gave them they sat down and pushed they have the name of everything their cathedral the kind of bosses that will come nonsense and they do not know the person that they are going to represent can i tell you something almost everybody god called was on his way running away from god's presence if you really know what ministry is hallelujah this is the reason why many people do not experience the presence of god and every time they find a man who has followed the protocol of an encounter they begin to bring all sorts of criticisms because certain possibilities do not exist in their life and they do not know that there is a price it's more than bible college it's more than theological seminary it's more than longevity around a church building hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying i began to seek god with so much passion listen i remember i will never forget second of december 2002 i was sleeping in the night and a man walked into my room sleeping and all of a sudden i felt it not in a vision i was not in any vision i was i, I was i was conscious of myself and he tapped me I felt the tap of a man and I was alone I was shocked I was afraid all of a sudden I turned I didn't see any man but it left an experience it was as if it was like a force at once I knew things I did not learn I started crying until morning I felt I felt filthy I felt unclean practically unclean it wasn't because i was fornicating or doing any bad thing a presence a realm was introduced to my life that rattled my theology rattled everything that i had known for days i was crying i could not even eat let me tell you the truth i was sobbing and crying i was not in control of the tears I didn't understand the presence of God do you know because of that the passion that was in my spirit I got a notebook I still have the notebook I wrote a letter to all my friends my extended family in the village that was all I knew it was a letter on rapture that Jesus was coming and everyone needed to pay attention that was all that i knew there was such a passion for souls not ministry not power not healing not deliverance not prosperity not money not influence 
souls the heartbeat of the father god hides himself in light he will give you a glimpse and hide himself so that you will look for him hallelujah i i always waited for the night time where everybody will go and sleep and then i would wake up and these encounters i kept writing letters i carried a bulk of my clothes i told my mother to give me a bulk of her clothes and a number of people i called my brother who was then studying in shika came home and we prayed on the clothes i drove down to an orphanage home i went to visit those orphans and do a lot of things i wasn't in ministry the bible says the spirit moved jesus drove him i didn't even know what the name of that experience was all i knew was that it was an encounter no one could deny hallelujah people would come around me and just sit quietly and within minutes they are sober and they are telling me the problems of their lives i wasn't a preacher i would study the word chapter after chapter i couldn't understand anything at that time i was having very serious eye problem i couldn't even look at light for a long time and i said if my eyes will come out let it come out passion i would cry and tell the lord reveal yourself to me who is this stranger that walked into my room didn't show me his face didn't know anything about the holy spirit hallelujah years before that time we had had encounter the baptism of the holy spirit and as very very small boys we did wonderful things we were not even conscious that the things that were happening were miracles it was dramatic js2 js2 i was made the timekeeper of the whole school because there was something exceptional about my life js2 every day pastor quarter to five somebody wakes me quarter to five without failing somebody will wake me i rang the bell five o'clock on the dot i want you to know that this the quality of christians that men of god are marketing and advertising will not stand the test of time they lack the impetus to endure hallelujah and after that encounter i began to pursue god i i had no business with ministry in fact let me tell you something pastor the first crusade that we had there was no name of ministry we had to come together and a jimmy told me what would be the name of this ministry now i said i don't know god didn't give me any name let's find something i can't even remember the name we use trinity something one kind of name like that just to be able to explain to pfn we are coming for a crusade and now i see a lot of people all around moving with bodyguards and moving with people claiming that they are doing ministry and they mentored the life of very wrong men of god who are out of the program of god don't use cars and suits and english and crowd to gauge that a man is close to the presence of god you will be greatly deceived motivational speakers park stadiums are they anointed but they park stadiums with people paying thousands of dollars to hear them speak it doesn't take too much to gather people hallelujah is someone hearing me tonight and i began this encounter let me tell you something i would pray for days i wasn't looking for ministry show me your face show me your glory oh god that's all i want a time came it was it was a matter of life and death i remember i would go to life way life way and then i had i had <sighs> do you know i would be in the restaurant in community market immediately i finish eating there's one anywhere i hear them playing a tape there were christian bookstores around i would just go and sit down there i knew almost all of them i was hungry 
I spent my money on books, books on purpose. I will never forget writing an article about myself if I were dead. That's what I wrote. That was the article. I wrote how people may come for my funeral, come for this and that and that. I did crazy things. Hallelujah. At the back of Ixaramat, you know that bush there? They started developing it now. It was at the back of Ixaramat. That's where I would go and shout like a madman in the night. Saying, Lord, will you reveal yourself or kill me? Don't criticize a man till you know the passion and the story behind the glory. God never gave me any assurance that I'll be standing and listening to people. But he gave me one assurance. He said, early will I seek you. I will show you some scriptures tonight. Hallelujah. I'll never forget dramatic encounters. I was staying in Danfodio. And I remember what used to happen. People will come to my room. When they come to, it was myself, Steve Strings, and Andy Ambassador. We were roommates, room 155, O Block. People used to come in the morning. In the morning, I was a strange person. I could be lying down. And the next thing, the moment I see an angel, Steve Strings or somebody, the moment he may just be playing the guitar and something happens the power of god is breaking out people outside the room are falling under the anointing it was a strange life i would climb on top of vet medicine there was one empty place at the very top in the night when people are sleeping i would sit there i had a chair and i would sit there and cry in the night and say will you not reveal yourself to me oh god Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Hallelujah. When I was staying in area BZ, I used to seek the Lord. I was staying alone. Well, with a roommate, but mostly alone. And this is where the encounters of my life took another dimension I was broke sometimes I would not have money but there was a guava tree in front of the house I would go and plug the guava there and eat it and take water and say Lord I give you praise and I would lock up myself praying and then at a point listen to me certain things started happening in my life I would be praying I didn't even know it was called the cloud of his presence I stand before God and I tell you the truth I lie not a literal mist you know how vapor is that's how it will enter the room and I was being careful so that I wouldn't dapple into any demonic thing I had to search the scripture and I saw when the cloud of God's glory entered the temple and the priest could not even minister again it's in your Bible hallelujah i'll never forget praying for somebody who had chicken pox god is my witness it was in less than three hours or so the person came back and almost 90 percent of what he had had disappeared and there was nobody to clap for me i didn't even know it was a spectacular miracle you know the problem with a lot of people there are too many people to clap for you when you have not done anything so it makes us believe we gather around a lot of people who are not passionate about God. I was seeking the face of God with all my heart. Then there used to be lots of fellowships on campus to do a lot of things. I would just go behind Sunday school building and sit down there. And I used the worship that was being played by several campus fellowships for my spiritual. Look, let me tell you something. This is the reason why you may talk about somebody and God will judge you at once because he has a track record of sacrifice. There is, there is, it's like blood on the altar that speaks. Hallelujah. When Reinhard Bonke was coming for crusade, 
I remember that time I went. I've shared with you the story. Six hours I was standing, no seat. A pregnant woman was standing close to me. Small time the woman would lean on me. I said, Madam, I understand you are pregnant, but this, this, this whole thing, I'm, we're all tired here. But I was determined. My life is a testimony of dramatic encounters. I started having all of these encounters. And I'll never forget, listen, one night, the longing of my soul was satisfied when Jesus Christ appeared to me. I have seen him. It's not because I read it in scripture. This is why I can tell you with authority that many people who claim they have seen Jesus did not see Jesus. There is nothing that left. There was no deposit in their life. If you see Jesus, even if it's for one minute, something will enter your life that you will run with for a lifetime. This is the Jesus I saw. When Saul, on his way to Damascus, met this Jesus, what happened to him? A hardened criminal. At once, he broke down. He called him Lord. Saul was fasting for three days and three nights. He was blind. The presence of God made a man blind physically. And there are people who claim they see Jesus every day. Fornicating around seeing Jesus. Stealing around seeing Jesus. Doing all kinds of things. They say they are seeing Jesus. That's not the Jesus I saw. That's not the Jesus I saw. For when you see him. When Zechariah saw just an angel. An angel. He made Zechariah dumb. An angel. Hallelujah. When I saw Jesus, I was flat on the ground. Goodness. I'm telling you, I looked like a speck of dust in this majestic. I could not believe that this was the man preachers were trying to represent. When you meet Jesus, it will change your life. It will overhaul your priority about ministry. It will no longer be an issue of denomination or an issue of sect, an issue of I was this, I was that. When you meet Jesus, it will rattle your, your whole theology to its foundation. I felt as if I was a dead man. I could not even see his face. Let me tell you the truth. It was the brightness the, I, I, I don't know how to begin to explain it to you and he stood there his robe was white it was not like physical clothes that you can see like this it was like clothes but it was like the clothes was attached to the person's body so it's not like something you remove and put back it's not our concept of clothes no hallelujah and light brothers and sisters light was emanating from him the christ and all he did to me was to stretch his hands towards me and he stretched that giant hand imagine like stretching an an aircraft over a fly that was how it was and light light that i cannot explain that light came upon me i don't know how god did it that he did not kill me when I got up from that vision, there was a fire in my bones that I would live and die for. I've been captured by a love I can't explain. Now you have me and I'm forever changed. I've abandoned everything i've ever known and i surrender this life is not my own i belong to you i belong to you i belong to you i belong 
so nobody coerced me i surrendered my heart this one is different from coming to do this funny born again thing that people do in church people just march and come out lord jesus lord jesus and he's pinching his neighbor i surrender all i surrender all immediately he finishes the the boyfriend or whoever is waiting for the person and then they ask him are you born again and the brother or the sister they mean to say have you ever come out they say yes now i've even been baptized come on now let me tell you there are many people who think they are saved and god does not know them i know some of you will be angry for this statement i'm making christianity with no transformation impossible except it's not the, the christ that died for our sins hallelujah this was the vision that opened me up into ministry i had been seeing a lot of encounters listen somebody was pursuing me and i went and i stood somewhere in a room all of a sudden i was moved to look through the window when i looked through that window i saw an endless sea of people it was it was as far as my eyes could see and they were talking they were lamenting it was a crowd of people hallelujah after seasons of trainings and buildings and their sound started zooming to my ears and then eventually it looked like they zoomed those who were in front and i had them it was a it was a sound of languishing and pain it was not a sound of celebration the people were crying and languishing in pain and this was what they said they looked at me and they said there's no food and no water all of a sudden in the vision it became like i had the keys to the storehouse of that entire crowd of people i was holding the keys and i told them i asked them i said who is the cause why you do not have food and water and they said you are the one and i said oh my god i was moved with compassion i started crying and i told them i'm coming right away to help you but there were people who had chased me and i was afraid of them but i took the step to open the door when i opened the door there was a gigantic man waiting for me and he was in the similitude of the holy spirit he now held my hands and he said let's walk together i will walk with you in this journey are you getting the point then he began to walk with me we were to jump from building to building just like structures like you have the students hostel at the top from one end to the other and he jumped to the other side and he sat down there was a small ladder that connected the buildings and i was trying to walk slowly and he was looking at me and laughing and that was how i woke up all of a sudden my life changed i would be in a meeting and would hold hands together just to share the grace quietly seated here and people in rows who fall under the anointing and i could not understand i would stay in the secret place praying and building people would come to look for me the way they will know i'm around is that a great distance before they arrive people would not be able to cross that circumference what is your experience like you who has already called yourself pastor what is your experience what message do you have to give your generation that's why we do a lot of copying and pasting a lot of copy and and all kinds of things we preach messages without power without transformation because they do not come from a depth of truth you're beautiful you're beautiful every time you see me worship him every time you see me do the things that i do let me tell you something whenever there is any seed of pride in me it doesn't take a long time for god to copy it. there are too many encounters in my life all it takes is for god to refresh any of them any of them breaks me down many of you do not have encounters that's why a man of god will keep moving he's falling but he cannot see there's no encounter to remind him of where he was coming from and you can begin to sleep around with members of the church enjoy prosperity when jeeps start coming and cars start coming whether you pray or not you preach well let me tell you the truth the army that god is raising 
is an army that understand the one they are representing they know him they've had an encounter with him that's the only condition to be able to die for him it's impossible to die for a man you do not know it's impossible to die for a man you cannot you cannot relate with angels bow before him is beautiful there have been so many encounters in my life one time I was in a vision and there was it was outside all the doors were closed all the shops were closed it was like a community and I saw people sitting down sick people all around and I was looking at them and I said where are the doctors where is the hospital these people are dying what is all this I was shouting speaking to the air the people were so weak and helpless they could not even talk to me and then I had a voice that spoke to me from heaven he said go and heal them go and deliver them hallelujah one time when I was praying I was worshiping for a season I began to sense an unusual activity of the presence of God in my life I would worship and pray and build myself listen I want to give you a very big key to my life and that night it was a very deep encounter with God hallelujah and while I was in that place of encounter listen the Lord spoke to me and he said from today I give you my presence as a gift this is what God told me hallelujah from that day God opened my eyes and I saw a huge angel I had never seen him and I said Lord what is the name of this angel and the Lord told me his name is called the angel of the Lord's presence he said this is the angel that will walk with you the angel of the Lord's presence hallelujah this is the reason behind some of these mighty manifestations that you see that a lot of people do not understand I have suffered for this anointing I've been criticized for this anointing people have called me all kinds of names my mother is alive she came here you have seen her my father is alive I grew up in the midst of people I didn't come out from a wilderness my life has been an open book from birth to death the Bible says oh Lord my God early will I seek you my soul passed for you it says to see your power and your glory this is the passion that is the missing ingredient every time I go for meetings after the meetings you see lots of people coming to kneel down oh man of God lay hands because we have emphasized impartations above encounters so people believe you can take a man's spiritual journey with one laying on of hands do you know that all the people that the apostles laid hands on and the patriarchs of old they had they they went through the wilderness together they saw certain things together the laying on of hands did not rob them of true spiritual experience hallelujah I remember my first encounter with a demon real physical demon listen let me share with you I'm sharing with you I'll put a few scriptures and we'll pray because tonight tonight God is going to give some people real encounters hallelujah it was in chapel one night I finished praying listen true story God is my witness none of these things I'm telling you are stage managed and the generator then they just made that generator there and i was just going to turn to the edge of it listen i saw a real physical demon i saw it with my eyes and he just shouted and told me get back that's what he told me before he finished saying get back i was already praying in tongues it was not premeditated and it just went vanished like that from that time 
authority came upon my life to cast out every kind of demon and devil anywhere brothers and sisters the ancient knew the value of encounters this is what we do not know especially preachers in our generation everybody just believes i have an occupation okay you studied mass communication or french and you don't know what else to do with your life you just say i sense the, the call of god upon my life now after nyse what will i do say, oh, yeah, try ministry now i say talk you were a very good bible study teacher you say truly i was they even gave me price you just go and dapple into the vineyard believing that you are going to be effective you think so go and ask the devil how herbalists are trained go and ask the devil how false prophets are trained go and ask the devil how witches and wizards are trained you think it's an ambition it's a fraternity it's a sacrifice with their life they sell their soul to satan those ones have collected the mark of the beast already hallelujah that's why you can stand and tell the sick be healed and nothing happens there is no experience demons are not idiots they have followed the track record listen something happened there was somebody when we started koinonia he was coming he was in the occult i'm sure one i can't remember his name now one young guy he was in the occult they used to come and sit when people started sitting outside quietly they had seen me this gentleman was sent it's just that we don't we don't share one tenth of the testimonies that happen it will amaze you do you know what this guy told me i went on a retreat i remember one time i went on a retreat the lord asked me to go on a retreat 72 hours my eyes did not see light whether it was day or night i didn't even know what time it was at all whether it was three o'clock i kept everything 72 hours dry i'm not talking about this kind of fast that you take granite in the afternoon later in the evening you are you can't even wait quarter to six you're already peeling the orange the the type your heart panting after god not looking for power hallelujah do you know after i prayed and i finished that experience the day they brought the gentleman to me and I was about to pray. This is not an issue of being oppressed that you are casting out the devil. This is somebody that is in occult. Aware. He knows. You know what he told me? He said, sir, we have been watching you. And he said, while you were praying, he mentioned the place. He said, for 72 hours in the realm of the spirit, their eyes were open and they were watching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he was telling me how that they strike a lot of men of God. It's like a spiritual meter. That's why a man can be backsliding and nothing is happening. It's the deceit of the devil to make you feel things are moving all right. Your prayer life has died. Nothing wrong is happening. You are not even studying. Nothing else is. It's like a meter. It will keep going down. 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 You will not observe it. It will just keep going down. One day, the devil will hit you once. This is the reason why you will see a great man. People don't just fall like that, brothers and sisters. Are you getting what I'm saying? Samson slept with a harlot, true or false. Without prayer, he went and removed the gate of the city. That God is showing you mercy over your life does not mean he's endorsing your state. He's challenging you to rise higher. This is the message you will not find in church everybody tells people things are all right jesus has died wonderful you are now born again do everything just book in the name of jesus give him all the praise shout do everything you want to do and there's all kinds of madness and hell is raging war believers are not sensitive hallelujah One of the greatest assets I have in my life is not revelation, it's not understanding, it's my love for God. And it's like a cancer and I trust God to infect you with it tonight. A love for God that nothing can take, not power, not anointing, not influence.
people call me all kinds of names i don't care what you call me apostle daddy mommy uncle call whatever you want to call me that's that's your i thank god for the honor but there is something that i've seen that nothing in time can take it away hallelujah let me show you two scriptures i saw this scripture in 2005 and it changed my life forever john 14 21 Zilaka prash timbrea zakata balashina mahosi barai. Mighty God. John 14 21. Let's read. One to read. Please, can we have it from Amplified? Do you have Amplified? Let's have it from Amplified. The person who has my commands and keeps them is the one who really loves me and what's his reward for loving me it says and whoever really loves me will be loved by my father are you seeing it now i want to show you the protocol of our encounter and i too will love him and will show reveal manifest myself to him i will let myself be clearly seen by him and make myself real to him is that in your bible There is a protocol. God does not just reveal himself to people because they are crying or because they are praying. Many people want to encounter God. Everybody cry. Even in churches, we hold all kinds of three days, one week revival. You see the poster, revival, exclamation mark, revival, two exclamation mark, and then another revival, three exclamation mark. Revival, revival, revival. And you see the people who are coming for the revival strolling around and coming to sit and the man of god who is now supposed to bring the revival who needs revival himself will now come with his his, his prepared manual and talk all kinds of stories and people just know they say mm, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and they now say it's time to pray and everybody just finds a little corner and is just sleeping and snoring at the end of the program they say they've held this year's revival you know what a revival is a revival is an awakening that keeps a city and a community stand still we don't read a lot of history we don't read a lot of where we are coming from the world's revival was so powerful that men will carry the newspaper as soon as they start reading the newspaper revival will start in their house what is our concept of revival the average young person in this generation cannot define what a revival is we have not seen it what is our concept of christianity what do we really want to achieve ask the average believer why do you go to church it tells you to go and worship what is that it's just because we grew up knowing that you are a christian and it's good for you to go to church second corinthians or first corinthians Lord, we bless you. The Lord is redefining someone's Christianity tonight. Removing the things that are unnecessary. Verse 9. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. Sitatapa katatapa ladabanda briha. But as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for who them that love him not them that pray to him not them that want to serve him them that love god let me tell you this is the missing ingredient in the body of christ it's not rema we have enough revelation there are powerful men and women of god i attest to it in nigeria in africa in the world there are people who have explored 
the portals of revelation back to back what we lack is love and when i say love i don't just mean love by giving i mean passion and priority god has very little priority in our generation let me tell you the truth very little priority very little there are few parents the average parent in nigeria they believe in god but god is not a priority hallelujah ask the average young man what his pursuit is either to go to school or to go and serve or to get a wife or to get some kinds of things imagine imagine this is the whole circumference of our christian pursuit ask a man of god what are you seeking he tells you by the grace of god we should grow to ten thousand and fifteen thousand and then have our own auditorium have our own buses start making our own calendar then go on air is this our circumference of the pursuit of god i love him with my life he's my priority I'm obsessed about him and that has nothing to do with ministry it's my default state when I sing he knows I'm not pretending it I love him more than miracles let him take all the anointing from my life let him take the mean if God asks me pastor and tells me close koinonia close up here and I pack up everything I promise you to God who has created me this would be the last service that's the end of it everybody will feel bad everybody will complain and say why some serious people even say let's let's resurrect it you can go ahead and face god alone but i'll be so happy and i'll tell him lord what next if god tells me go and join a church or a ministry and be an usher i will do that gladly from the depths of my heart i not minding anybody's recognition i don't want no recognition from anybody when you see God commit spiritual power to a man, ask questions. Ask questions. God is not stupid. That's why a lot of people come, Oh God, give me power. I want to speak. Somebody sent me a text. He said, I cannot imagine how you speak and people fall. I want it to. I said, go and ask God. The guy felt disappointed. Go and ask God. I'm not a herbalist. I don't manufacture miracles in little dots of 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 oil and, and communion and all of that no we want to jump the process of genuine encounter and intimacy yet we want power that's why i question a lot of what we call power in the body of christ a man who has so much power without encounter is questionable But right now everybody is chasing power power prophetic power apostolic power miraculous power people keep hopping around i've given warning nobody should come and stand in front of my house waiting for any impartation i'm not a herbalist you can come for counseling you can come for koinania god will bless you listen i believe in the laying on of hands we lay hands and we do impartation for all the people but we must lead you into a of desperation an encounter with the spirit say amen two more scriptures let me tell you how you know that God is not a priority if you attempt to live without him it's a sign that you do not need him in your life whatever you can live without is not a priority to you are you getting my point whatever you can live without is not a priority air is a priority you cannot live without it food is a priority you cannot live without it if you can live without god don't tell me he's a priority to you there are many of us outside inside you are looking at me right now you know between you and god that God is not a priority in your life you may even be in ministry you may be doing very well but is God a I'm not asking you whether you are born again or not I know you are born again I'm talking of a priority 
that if you are to delete many things in your life god will still remain hallelujah there is a law in the spirit jeremiah 29 thank you holy spirit 11 to 13 we'll read it quickly because i want us to pray the lord wants to plant a fire in our hearts tonight and reorder our spiritual pursuit aright that beyond revelation we will love him for i know the thoughts that i think towards you we know this scripture so well thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end next verse then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and i will hearken unto you here's the condition verse 13 this is a law in the spirit never forget it for as long as you live read it everybody want to read and find me when ye search for me with all your heart this is the law for finding god in the spirit you will never never have an encounter with god until your all seeks him if you just seek him with part of you if you seek him with an ulterior motive you will if you seek him because of business or marriage or money like many of us are seeking god god will give you the car god will give you the marriage god will give you all of these things we seek different things that god has we seek his hands we seek all kinds of things here is the law write it if anybody ever ask you what is the protocol for an encounter this is it you will seek me look at me let me tell you what it means to seek god to seek god is not to pray this is what a lot of people have been taught as seeking god prayer is not necessarily seeking god to seek god is not even worship because that's what many of us still believe to seek god is not to fast to seek god is to cultivate a desire that seeks to make him the priority of your life at any cost that has nothing to do with prayer it is when that happens prayer can be a machinery to help you get there fasting can be a machinery to help you get there worship can be a machinery to get to help you get there but in themselves they cannot give you i know someone and he's i think he's one of the greatest person i've met in my life people talk about kings of fasting and people who fast i know somebody who fasted he rounded up last year 400 days 400 days very quiet brother nobody even knows him around 400 days i had the privilege of rounding up his fast with him and i prayed for him and laid my hands when he finished the 400 days six to six for 400 days in my life even in history i'm not saying you should do it i'm just telling you that there are people like that yet you will still see that there are certain dimensions that he has not entered so it's not just about fasting people brag with fasting they they intimidate others with fasting they make it look how many days have you fasted one will say three dry your wet say dry another person said all kinds of things if fasting alone brought people into the place of power some people would have brought the throne of god to the earth and be sitting on it by now let me tell you fasting will not in its own just make god reveal himself to you the psalmist said as the deer pants after the water pools bishop oedeko said something he said if you want to know the secret of the hand of god in my life you must know my heartbeat for god i know a lot of preachers who do not have the heartbeat for god i go for meetings and i talk with preachers after a powerful service they look at me and they admire deeply the things that god has done in my life and when they come and sit down 90 percent of them don't ask questions they are just looking for an envelope 
and they put offering and sign checks where is my PA bring check and you you sign it you you really think it will give you an encounter I believe in giving and all of that we've taught this there and they just drop it and they say pray for me when you meet a man of the spirit ask questions don't just kneel down and say lay hands on me what was the secret of this glory I know lots of preachers that teach well but three days after they are teaching people have forgotten everything they have said but I know certain people Reinhard Bonke is one of them you meet him once your life will never be the same I remember when he came for a crusade I think in Makodi Dr. Paul Enenche said something he said after the crusade they should book the room and leave it 24 hours the room that Paul Enenche slept in hallelujah and when Paul uh, when 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 um uh, what's his name now the evangelist Reinhard Bonke when he left and then she said they should they shouldn't repair it he said all the people they should not come and make it they should leave it as dirty as it is and he came there and laid down on that exact spot and said Lord just give me the hunger that you gave this man I'm not asking for power just give me his hunger that's how to pray that's how to receive that's how to encounter power you are looking for the wrong things the hand of a man the wallet of a man all kinds of things look for the heart for God that that man has and you've gotten the secret of his anointing this one you cannot receive it as an impartation you must desire and covet and pursue the Bible says there are many things that God has in store hallelujah something happened i think a week or, or two or, i think a week ago i was sharing with the students school of ministry hallelujah i wanted to listen to a message and i searched for it searched for it on on youtube i couldn't find it and i said lord would you help me and i slept it didn't take long when i slept i was in a dream and i went back to my laptop i listen to me true story and someone came and found the message for me and they played the message for me in the dream beginning to end so i woke up listen i'd listen to the message and i remembered everything there are some things you see god do for a man and you'll be like god you are not fair god says it's not that i'm not fair this guy has attracted me with so much passion it's, it's a love affair that's why many people stop at the outer court they cannot eat the hallowed bread but there are some people what somebody is fasting for for 10 days god will carry it as a gift and give a man who truly loves him there are sisters cat walking all around hoping that one brother will get to see them whereas another gentle sister is just saying lord come let me use you lord i love you and i seek you with all my heart and in that seeking god will just wake a brother who is sleeping in the night and he'll just wake up shut up god will say keep quiet this is not what we are talking about you see that lady she's your wife say lord please this is not the time god will say have you submitted to me or not say fire on. let me tell you the cheapest route to the hand of god is force his heart to come to your direction hallelujah that's the greatest church growth principle i know you can give people balloon and exercise book after service you can give them eclairs you can put all kinds of things put screens all around transport them to their houses if your heart does not pant after god let me tell you there are certain dimensions it's not demons god himself will stop you from entering hallelujah you will seek me and you will find me i listened to a very powerful um 26 minutes video about passion and hunger for god and one 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 asian was talking to the people it inspired me and blessed me so much and he gave an analogy he said if you if you lose a i think is it a 10 or 50 cents 
if it falls in the night a coin maybe 10 or 50 cents and it falls in the night will you look for it if you check it around and you don't find it a coin that is so cheap pastor will you spend all the night looking for it but if you have a check of hundred thousand dollars that they gave you not you and your friend and it disappears even if it's the realm of the spirit you will use light and bring it back into this realm so tell me is god a cheap coin for you that you search if you don't find him no problem any other thing matter some of us can begin to seek god until a man comes into your life or until a woman comes or until you make five points or until you get that job you hear people say i'm busy i'm busy you are not busy when your leg breaks and they hang it for three months in shika no going anywhere you sit down there you are not too busy but the one who can protect and preserve you it's amazing how people claim they are too busy for god say i'm too busy i have an appointment go is it not when god takes you there safely i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting on you lord i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting this was the secret of david look at a man called david see all the bad bad things that david did and it was as if god didn't see it go and study the life of david and see how many criminal offenses david committed in his lifetime every bad thing you can imagine stealing somebody's wife kill the husband huh slept with Bathsheba, and when the first child died he did repent he still had solomon with her again at the temple shoe bread did all kinds of things yet hear the testimony god said he is a man after my heart that's why the guy accessed some realms he saw things that were not given for his dispensation to see it was david who sat down and his love for god he said how can i be in a palace like this and there is no house for my god although you do not need tents to dwell in but i will build you a house god said no you you're already a criminal you won't build me a house he said no problem god i love you i'm not offended i will put the money for my son and god said what kind of man is this there is a way you love god that god you you try to force god to be guilty if he does not bless you just love him don't ask him anything it's in his word he says any man that cannot cater for his family you make yourself the child then you come and make yourself like the wife of this one come on now you have placed god in a tight position that he must respond he called the nation of israel the apple of his eyes try to touch the apple of a man's eyes and you will see how his hand will reach to you and slap you and the bible says the right hand of god is power that's where abel is got it that you, you can go to a burial ground have you had those kind of stories a hand will appear from nowhere and slap you and the guy will become deaf so what about the right hand of god that is power when god stretches that hand acts chapter 4 they said that you will stretch forth your hands when god stretches his hands it will clear the way the breath of his nostrils parted the red sea is it that god cannot save us listen i want to give us a food for thought and we will pray the way many of us treat god we are not sure whether god can come to our rescue or not what is a husband what is money what is a car brothers and sisters what is a house what is hiv that god cannot take it away what is ministry what is ministry that god cannot give you increase jesus entered a city and it was noised abroad what is a child that god cannot give you 
what are demons that God cannot keep them far from your life is the cause of on your life so great that God cannot help you are not the first to go through affliction ah I'm looking for money to marry it's just two months for my marriage keep quiet seven days God created the heavens and the earth how long does it take to give you money are you the first to get married or is your wife did she descend from heaven what is the special arrangement my child's school fees really you've not heard of people that God will stop from sleeping in the night to respond to those who truly love him I cannot tell you how many times people will send me texts in the middle of the night and say the Lord woke me and said I must send you a seed I must send you recharge card and I said Lord what are you doing to me I found a secret when you love him don't just seek to serve him yet emoji don't just seek to serve him yet seek to love him back up the name of your ministry whether it's, it's revival Tower incorporated I'm not saying God didn't call you just keep it aside win the heart of God and you will ride on the wings of a dimension of his grace that you cannot experience or that you have never experienced before is someone getting blessed tonight this is a missing ingredient and so the apostle says it this way may the grace of our lord jesus christ we recite it after every meeting the love of god the koinonia the participation of the spirit let it remain with you i love god with my life this is the biggest secret i'm not the most gifted minister i'm not the most anointed minister i'm not the most eloquent minister i'm not the most intelligent minister i'm not the most experienced minister but one thing i can tell you ask god i love him oh i love him with my life and i love him with my heart i love him more than power i love him more than everything i love him more than all of this uh, this swan water and this bottle together with this serviette inside i love him more than this chair i love him more than anything marriage children wife husband mother father if you stand my way with god you already know you have lost that's the end of it do you love god that much god is asking you this question for when you do you will see power in your life you don't need to talk too much we just returned from university of ibadan and goodness what the lord did in that campus humbled me I've seen the hand of God and I see the hand of God week in, week out. But to see the humbling thing that, that, that it was so humbling. The wife of the commissioner of police of the state had to follow us to our hotel and stay there. And we were talking with this woman till about 12 in the night. She wouldn't go. I had to be prophesying and praying for her and she gave her ipad for someone to record it she said my husband needs to see this this is the favor somebody has been sweating about sitting from morning till night in an office i want to see the commission of police they say see god he said no 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 i i know how we will do this thing because you think god wants your money i surrender all to you everything i give to you withholding nothing this will be our song this night withholding nothing tonight you will release that isaac withholding nothing withholding nothing sing i surrender all i surrender all Everything I give to you, we're holding nothing, we're holding nothing. I was talking with one of my friends one time, and he said, 
he calls me emoji he said emoji you are enjoying no i'm seeing your picture on facebook all the time ministry is sweet oh you are just changing clothes and i was looking at the person i said look at somebody i've not seen after one year look at what is in his mind you see that that's what is in his mind to him he's enjoying crowds money he said you are rich oh you hear that boss is carrying people and I, i'm in my mind i'm thinking what is what is wrong with this brother because to him he now thinks one kind of magic happened do you know that you came into this ministry because god brought you it was a law that compelled you to come there was no guarantee that you would come but there was a guarantee that if i seek him i will find him and when you find him you will find everything he has his power his wisdom his grace this is the secret rise up on your feet we are going to pray hallelujah david Dam, come you're going to sing that song again we are going to sing and we are going to pray listen for many of you two prayer points just two prayer points tonight the first is the prayer of release you're going to be crying and say lord I love you but truly you are not yet a priority there are i i don't know if i have that passion tonight forget about titles i don't want to know who you are in this place just cry to god and the second prayer is going to be a prayer for an encounter an encounter an encounter go ahead Holding nothing. nothing, sing from your heart, Lord. I'm withholding nothing. If you want the marriage, take it. If you want the relationship, take it. If you want my degree, take it. If you want my life, take it. If you want my ministry, my anointing, my money, I sacrifice it. My bank account, my anointing. Take it for God. I surrender. Sing it from your heart. Shake it, shake it, ba 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 ba. Everything I give to you. Now the Lord said unto Abraham, Abraham, take thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest, and offer him upon a mount that I will show you. You are going to pray. Prayer point number one. Lord, where is that Isaac in my life? That thing I cannot release and let go. Who is that Isaac? Where is that Isaac? What is that thing I cannot give you? Lift your voice and pray and say, Lord, it belongs to you. It belongs to you. Some of you may cry as you are laying it down, but let it go tonight. Let the intellect go tonight. Surrender it to him. I declare that you are above that job. You are above that job. You are above that challenge. There is nothing my God cannot give you. Give him your heart tonight. Give him your heart tonight. Some of you need to rededicate your lives afresh. Outside. All the overflows. 
some of us need to rededicate our lives and say Lord I'm coming back home tonight I've strayed from you but I'm coming back home tonight Rolling nothing in. hallelujah there are some of us his business that took the place of God in our lives you want to make money anyhow you must make money others his ministry you are now too busy for God too busy for the things of God he's no longer a priority others academics others job before you got the job before you got the admission God was a priority right now we are so busy for him for others before you got married when you were praying and fasting and dropping offerings everywhere now the husband has come now the wife has come for many of us is your health when you were trusting God dying of HIV dying of cancer dying of a terminal disease you sought God but now that it has gone there's no time for him again We're holding nothing. Holding nothing. Hallelujah. Still praying. Number uh, prayer point number one. You're going to pray. You're going to say, Lord, even if you never bless me again in this life, you already have my heart. The issue of backsliding or complaining will never occur in my life again even if the breakthrough does not come come on lift your voice that was the secret of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they said oh king we know that our God will deliver us but even if he does not deliver us we will not bow lift your voice and pray Lord I know you will bless me but I love you more than the blessing I love you more than my bank account. I love you more than my desire to be famous. Pray. Everything I give to you with holy nothing, with holy nothing, with holy nothing. Hallelujah. Look at me. Job was at a point in his life where he was such a wealthy and a blessed man. The Bible says Job testifying about himself. He said in the days of my youth when the secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. He said I walked upon butter and I sucked honey out of the rock. He said the young men saw me and they bowed their faces. The old men saw me and they stood up. That was the position of Job. And one day the devil went to the Lord and said, Is it for nothing that this man serves you? In other words, his heart is not with you. And God said, You can touch everything. Don't touch his life. Let me watch. And in one day his children went, his cattle went, everything went, and Job sores came out of him. Dogs will come and lick his sores and his wife the first lady of a community became an object of embarrassment all the friends left him and the wife told Job he said do you still hold your integrity do you still hold your love do you love God that much to be a fool you have become a talk of the town people have mocked you Job you were a great man do you not remember when you dined with kings and Job looked at her and said why do you speak like one of these stupid women he said though he slay me yet will I praise him the Bible says in all of this Job sinned not it was not out of his mouth that he uttered anything bad he said I know my Redeemer liveth and the Bible says Job was in a predicament but he stopped focusing on himself and he was praying for his friends when Job prayed for his friends the only other person that did that 
was Jesus and Stephen on the cross he prayed for the people Stephen and the Bible says God turned the captivity of Job and he had double of everything children cattle what are you going through that is challenging your Christian integrity let me preach to somebody for two minutes what are you going through financial challenge your academics you may be on probation right now you may even be withdrawn let me tell you all hope is not lost the bible says go weeping and yours for the night you wrote jam seven times and it looks like nothing is coming some of you are due for graduation but you've been kept again and again can i tell you something like job i want you to speak tonight that though he slay me yet will i praise him all your colleagues have gotten married and you're the only one who is not married all other people have gone ahead of you they are even laughing they said they sinned and they are still blessed but you who has been righteous for years don't compromise your deliverer is coming i assure you god will ride upon the horse and come speedily to deliver you with holy nothing You may be married and it looks like your marriage is not working you're just smiling around but things are not working let me tell you your deliverer is coming some of you your homes are it's a place of living hell all kinds of war happened there father mother everybody some of you you are the only ones who are saved in your family and it's bringing a lot of challenge let me prophesy to you that if your heart is connected to God there is nothing my God will not give you the Lord told me something years ago he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you there is nothing I will not give you I have received things from God I cannot remember when I prayed for hallelujah the last prayer point and we'll round up tonight listen you're going to pray hallelujah and you're going to say lord give me an encounter that is bigger than the challenge i'm going through right now give me an encounter that is bigger than the success i've experienced so that whether my challenges or my successes they will not stand your place lift your voice and pray give me an encounter give me an encounter oh god lift your voice and pray give me an encounter open my eyes to see Jesus open my eyes to see something bigger than my challenges open my eyes to see something bigger than ministry something bigger than titles give me an encounter that will create the impetus for my spiritual life no backsliding no going back pray I cry for an encounter open my eyes oh God give me the vision of the night let me see Jesus seated on the throne let me hear his voice let me feel his embrace yeah, you have my everything you have my everything you have my everything you have Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord.
me and find me when you seek me with all your heart when you seek me with all your heart listen hallelujah listen we are still in a prayer mode the altar call tonight is very special we are still going to pray don't stop praying if you've never given your heart to the lord listen or you know that you have backslidden as we pray you to run from wherever you are inside or outside just come and be on your knees and be praying there are people god is calling back you know where you used to be don't be ashamed you've never given your heart to the lord inside or outside as we pray right now please leave your seat come out here quickly come out here quickly lift your voice and let's pray Shake it, 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 it. quickly quickly don't wait for anybody to call you come by yourself come and cry before your maker cry before your maker cry before your maker say lord i'm returning home tonight cry before your maker I want you to cry to the Lord give your life to Jesus by yourself don't pretend it you are not reciting any poem this night cry out to God from the depths of your heart and say Lord I'm sorry I return home tonight let me tell you your friends can let you down your association can let you down why don't you give your heart to the one who will never let you down? Don't be ashamed of your tears. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Some of us did not even re realize when we left God. You didn't even realize when you stopped pursuing Him. It's not like you were backsliding. You didn't realize when success started taking God out of your life when failure started taking God out of your life those of you in front cry I know there are some of you inside and outside that should be here whether you are here or not cry to God where you are and say Lord I mean business with you I mean business with you I mean business with you beyond ministry I mean business with you I mean business with you I mean business with you I mean business he is supposed to come out and he did not come out he is supposed to come out I mean business with you Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. From the depths of my heart, let everything else go. Let I don't care what it is. Let everything else go for the excellency of you. I won't trade you for silver or gold not for fame not for anything those of you in front keep talking to your maker he's listening to you 
your encounter tonight will be genuine you will know you found God you will never forget this day for the rest of your life hallelujah our time is fast spent but we are going to pray one prayer that the Lord is putting in my heart listen listen the Bible says love not the world not the things that are in the world it said for he that loves let's let's look at that scripture can we look at it please we have to look at it first John 2 verse 14 to 17 first John 2 love not the world the word love there is the word eros lost a craving this is what God is going to cut out of some of us there are some of us that love God but we love money you can kill because of it there are some of us you love men ladies you love men more than your life you can go with any man you love God but let a man just come into your life there are some of us women you love women you you can you can do anything for women and a lot of pastors have said it doesn't matter let me tell you if you want the glory it matters i have written to you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning i have written to you young men because ye are strong and the word of god abided in you and ye have overcome the wicked one 15 whosoever shall confess that jesus is the son of god god dwelleth in him and he in god 16. john first john 2 not 4 2 sorry i was wondering first john 2 not first john 4. he said for all okay let's go back to verse 14. first john 2 verse 14. I have written to you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning i have written to you young men because you are strong and the word of god abided in you and you have overcome the wicked 115. love not the world this is this is the john admonishing us love not the world it's not saying you should not be rich we just finished a series on financial dominion it's not saying you should not get married but don't be attached that eros that craving that attachment no love not the world neither the things that are in the world that means there are things that are in this world but he said neither the things that are in the world hear me it says if any man has this attachment and this craving for the world the love of the father is not in him as simple as that next verse for all that is in the world what are the things in the world it categorizes them into three number one is the loss of the flesh is this amplified please give me amplified same 16 amplified for all that is in the world listen the loss of the flesh craving for sensual gratification that is the isaac that some of us need to drop tonight the lust of the flesh number two the lust of the eyes greedy longings of the mind you want the best car in the world you want everything anything your eyes sees you want human or material you will never contact the power of god that way number three and the pride of life this is the realm that some of us are sitting in assurance in one's own resources or in the stability of earthly things degrees houses qualifications the bible says these do not come from the father not the materials now but that desire does not proceed from the father but are from the world itself we are going to pray 
you know which of these three category belongs to you every one of us in this place has a prayer point for at least one of them every one of us everyone and you're going to pray and say lord tonight i'm not ashamed you know the encumbrances that stop the richness of your spiritual experience your area of vulnerability lift your voice right now and pray pray from the depths of your heart for some of you is the loss of the eyes don't say it does not matter brother it's time for you to take the issue of holiness and purity serious you can't be sleeping around and say it does not matter don't tell me it does not matter who shall ascend to the hill of the lord who shall stand in his holy place there are some of us who are hustlers you want to make it by all means you want to make ends meet it doesn't work like that pray from the depth of your heart is between you and your god tonight outside inside take it seriously say lord i repent tonight take over this loss for money is killing me take over this loss for women is killing me take over this loss for wealth this loss for for popularity and recognition is killing me this love for ministry and title and accolades is killing me take it away let there be a circumcision a cutting away hallelujah early will i seek thee my soul longs for you to see your power and your glory listen listen to me we are rounding up let him that sins sin no more i'm i'm i'm, I'm seriously god is speaking to people in this place those of you who drink an end has come I'm not just speaking there is power to break that chain it's time for you to take God seriously if any guy is coming to your house and doing every kind of nonsense after this meeting send him a text say my brother I love you but I'm ready to move forward I've had a message this night and I'm serious about my destiny some of you after this meeting some people need text messages from you are you hearing me after this message some people need your text message this night these are the destiny killers that are eating our life when you want to pursue god they just show up some of us you need to minimize movies the movie industry is that devil that is stopping you from stepping into the things of God the movie industry is not wrong except where it stands in the way of your intimacy with God you must minimize it for there is no man that warreth who will entangle himself with civilian affairs there is a price in this journey but there is the beauty and excellency these are the things that when you do no demon manufactured in hell can stand near your life i cast out devils and i sleep like a baby i'm not just sleeping on my bed there is an atmosphere it takes a long protocol to reach me a long protocol in the spirit hallelujah those of you in front i'm going to lead you to pray don't be ashamed this is koinonia there are some of you who are really crying this is the presence of god don't be ashamed I'm going to lead you that you are not here does not mean you cannot join them if the prayer is necessary forget about who came with you no 
this is between you and God this is a destiny encounter those of you in front I, I see sincerity from your heart and I want to lead you please don't be emotional about this I want this to be a genuine encounter there is no habit in your life the power of God cannot break are you willing to cooperate with God there is nothing that cannot no amount of demon possession or manipulation or whatever it is that can stand your life when you sincerely are ready to move therefore pray after me and say it from the depths of your heart whisper it many of you as you pray you will be surprised what will happen to you thank you jesus say after me lord jesus i surrender i truly surrender tonight i repent forgive me my sins i love you with all my heart take away all the things that have taken your place in my life this night i am willing to start with you afresh take me use me anoint me empower me and make me an ambassador in the name of jesus satan stay far from my life from today i receive grace to say no to every appearance of evil i am free i am delivered in the name of jesus christ now look at me you have made the greatest decision in your life and i want you tomorrow we are going to meet with you by five exactly at the chapel the chapel just by the sunday school books are please endeavor to come we are going to meet with you and we'll talk with you by four sorry four on the dot for now i just want you to follow the ushers and they will have your details we are going to follow you up and i promise you we are going to pray for you if you are still under the anointing and you just want to lie there no problem but make sure eventually you meet with them please celebrate them celebrate you. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Katapranda Katekatos. Katebranda Katapakotos Kotobrekatekanekata.